Good morning, everybody. Let's get started on the job this morning. Uh, bear with me. I'm still down with the whatever it is the flu, the bug, the crud. I don't know what it is, but it's been on going on for about two weeks. Now, I've got a machete to build today, or start on it today. Now, this is called The Knife of Eli. Y'all ever see the movie, The Book of Eli? Remember, he has a pretty bad machete that he totes around in that thing. And uh, this is a replica of that. Now, this is a cheap Chinese one that I bought for the pattern only several years back. And I've made one of these in a mail to South Florida, but it was for a guide guy that does guide services eco type tours in South America now he sent me some feedback a couple of times he really liked it he was still carrying it and then I lost touch with him as so many times happens uh, especially people you meet through YouTube and customers and all you just lose track after a while but <coughs> I hope that the knife was is still serving him well he was really happy with it now this one is going to Alaska. One in South America and one in Alaska. How about that? But, uh, <laughs> now the only thing I'm not going to do on this, I'm not going to put the holes. Uh, I think they're made for shock protection. If you hit something really hard, it'll give supposedly. But this is really, really similar to one that was in the movie. And I think that was just for looks. That's what I think it was for. So we're not going to put the holes. Not needed. <coughs> now, this is, says 440 stainless, Chinese. And like I said, the only reason I bought it was for the pattern. And because uh, it's so similar. And I have modified this down here a little bit from the beginning, the first one I made. So it's not a direct copy. Even though China companies do direct copy everything they can get their hands on. But uh, we're better than them, so we're not going to do that. That's the stock sheath that came with it. Uh, it's got some features I like. So uh, we'll make a similar sheath. A little bit better hold down up here and that will be leather because going to Alaska to my buddy Josh do not want Josh running around in Alaska with something that might fail because he might have to get after one of them big old bears in one of these who knows but uh, when I get done it'll handle it <laughs> now this is the material I'm going to use right here that is very old mill saw blade i already got it traced out i'm gonna rough, i've got to rough it out clean it up put it in the forge and get it straight and annealed it'll have a little curve to it which all anything made out of these this material does you have to straighten it out <coughs> and uh that's what i'm gonna do right now and we'll continue on from there as long as I can hold out for today. <laughs> there we go. The knife of Eli going to Alaska. All right, got it rough ground. It's not down to spec yet, but it's a uh, pretty close. Next thing we need to do looks like a bow and arrow. So we need to take it out to the forge, get it uh, annealed, which means softened, if you didn't know. And that will get it very, very, very hot, and it will flatten out and straighten out. And I'll put it in the straightening jig, if need be. And that'll take a couple of hours. So that may be the last step for today on this.
Good morning. Day two on the machete build. Now, first of all, I feel a little bit better this morning. Not a great deal, but a little bit. So we're going to spend a few hours out in the shop today. And before we get started on showing you the knife as it is right now, uh, some people will be glad to know, and I'm glad to know, that I was sick. Came down with it really hard Christmas Eve. Uh, had a lot of breathing trouble. Still having a lot of breathing trouble. But um, I have not had a cigarette since Christmas Eve. Now I have lit and burned a couple of them. You smokers know what I mean. You light it, but you don't really smoke it. You just have it for your little crutch there. But I have not had one. And do not plan on going back to them. So, been a couple of weeks. Two weeks today. So maybe, maybe this is my chance I can get rid of that nonsense. I do need the nicotine crutch. You, uh smokers you know what I'm talking about if you have never smoked a cigarette day in your life you don't know what we're talking about so just don't even comment but um had that for over a week and still got over half of it so sometimes you get that edge where you got to have that nicotine it's just it's a drug it's like a lot of drugs caffeine is another one which I've had plenty of that but uh this is working for now uh, I did even light a cigar because I do enjoy an occasional cigar and that didn't work out too well. <coughs> but, um, didn't have much of that. But anyway, pat myself on the back. Now, let's get back to what we're doing here. Yesterday, I cut and roughed out the machete, the knife of Eli. I think we're going to call this something different. We're going to call this the knife of Josh. <laughs> Hey, that's what we'll call it. Anyway, it's roughed out. Put it in the forge. I put it in the straightening jig, which took about so it took about 30 minutes to get it straight. Clamped it down. And when it's that hot, it has to sit and cool all the way down to cold. No heat whatsoever before you can unclamp it. So I just left it overnight. And it came out really well. One little wiggle right here just a wiggle that'll come out in the heat treating because it's got to go back in the forge again in the end so now this morning I'm gonna go back it's still just a tiny bit big I'm gonna clean the lines up real nice clean up in here I got a little goofy right there straighten that right back out straighten the handle now the handle is gonna be bigger than the original because when he uses this, especially in the winter time, uh, especially in Alaska and all the cold climates, y'all know this, you wear gloves constantly. And you need it big enough to where you can get a gloved hand a hold of it. And it's a little bit longer here because there'll be a nice lanyard on the end of it. You can wrap it around it, your glove if you need to, or if you want to. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean the lines up show it to you once that's, that's done and then it will go to the blast cabinet get it all cleaned up and this is going to be bead blast texture except for the edge and then we'll start drilling the holes for the handle and we will continue on continuing on be back a little bit drilled that noise you hear is the compressor running and we're headed over to the blast cabinet clean it up real good and go to the next step all right got our blade bead blasted sand blasted whatever you want to call it got the rust cleaned off of it that's what us normal people say now, I've got an 80 grit pad. It's going to finish cleaning it up, smoothing it off. Get ready to do the etch, the Maker's Mark etch. 
and then we will grind the bevel. Now the bevels on this is going to be a chopping edge. Not like a knife that you would do fine cuts with. This will be a chopper. And that's what it's for. All right, run it for just a minute, then I'll shut the camera off because it's very loud. <laughs> Maker's mark is there. We are sanded off smooth. Now I'm going to put it on the jig. And we're going to grind the bevels. Or attempt to. I have to use the big grinder for this. Let's see. Now this little jig here is set for a chopping edge. I don't know the exact geometry degrees. To me, it doesn't matter. As long as it's pretty close on both sides. And it is a good, sharp chopping edge. Alright, let's go over here and see what we can do. Oh, we're going to leave this video right here. Uh, the machete video, I have the handle uh, epoxied on. I had it epoxied on on Saturday. And it doesn't happen often, but it does happen. I broke the handle trying to get it put on. Uh, <laughs> like I said, it don't happen often, but it does happen. And I was so irritated with myself that, um, plus I still don't feel too good. Still not over this sickness. I just took off yesterday, took Sunday off, hung around some, I visited with the grandkids. And my son-in-law is home from the hospital, which is very good news. Got home yesterday afternoon, so came back out today and got on this. Okay, it's epoxied on. Next time y'all see it, the handle will be all but finished. And the blade itself is all but finished. And we have some very, very severe weather coming in right now. Uh, it's supposed to be a good chance of tornadoes and bad thunderstorms, gale force winds, all that neat stuff. They even already closed schools in about four counties around here for tomorrow. So we got a long night of bad weather. I'll try to get this up tonight. And because I want to go ahead and get the shop closed down and hunker down and see what's going to happen. Hopefully we'll not have any damage and nobody else will either. There we go. Part one of the machete build. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for your support. And yes, yeah, cold too. With all these storms coming in, heaters on. And I will see y'all next time.